everybody all my followers be welcome to another video so this video today is on the following I've been working on an Audi A3 uh, you most likely have been watched uh, I've watched that video by now uh, if you haven't I will leave the link in the description below to that video so basically the car came with a problem with the sensor but the car came from uh, from elsewhere and by the time I got the car, the radio was coming showing uh, safe two. It was on. It was safe two, uh, which means I need to leave the key on or the radio on uh, for about two hours before he allows me to introduce the code again. So obviously someone has been trying some. I don't know some codes. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, what I've done, I could have showed you the the radio connected and showing the safe two. Uh, but uh, but uh, but there, there is really no point. Um, the the radio there is no code for the radio. The owner that doesn't doesn't have the code. Sometimes people write the codes on the back of the radios. I've looked everywhere. There's no code anywhere. So what I'm going to try to do is get the code for this. Now there is um, a quick search and even search on my softwares. I found a software that apparently is supposed to create the codes from serial numbers starting on AUZ1Z. Now I ran that serial number through one of my softwares. It gave me a code, but the code didn't work. So I actually gave me two options of a code. Obviously, it gives you the code and then the inverse, uh, the, the 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 inverse bytes, which is slightly different. But so I've tried two codes. Radio is again in safe two. So this time I'm not going to waste more time with softwares. I'm just going to open the radio, get hold of the EPROM, read the EPROM, and try to figure out what the code is for this radio. Okay, radio is open. There's only a few screws to remove, to remove the CD changer, uh, the front fascia, and, and so forth. Anyway, as you get into the main PCB, uh, so this is going to be the front of the radio, so front of the radio, back of the radio, your EPROM, I'm gonna uh, zoom it down kind of, your EPROM is gonna be there. So let me put some light, is that one in there? That's a 95 ST, okay? So that's your EPROM, and let's gonna take it off. Okay, just a quick tip before we go uh, any further. Um, so make sure, especially on some boards, that there is no pin mark, no pin number one mark. Just make sure you somehow know the orientation of the chip. So I wrote in there the number 95128, uh, and I put the letters or the numbers in the same orientation as the ones on the chip, so I know how it goes. That's usually how I do it. You can do it differently if you want. You can do a mark on a chip and then on a board, whichever way you want to do it. Just make sure you... Uh, know exactly how the ship was before. Okay, so now let's gonna remove that just with the hot air gun quite quick and simple uh, So yeah, it's gonna remove it Okay, job done. And now let's gonna try to read this pin. I'm going to use, going to use what? I'm going to use Xprog because it's already connected, so there's no need to be. Oh, there's a EPROM in there. Take that off. Think it like that. Okay, <clears throat> let's open Xprog, right, so new device is a EPROM, is an ST, what did I say, 95.128, so ST, Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. Wow, X Prog doesn't read this. Let me go again slowly on this. So X Prog 95. Ah, 95 went to wait. There it is. I believe it's that one. So let's go into let's do the USB. See if I have this correct. Yes. Let's try to read this. Okay, there's a poor contact somewhere. Let's try this again. Oh, that's interesting. Oh dear. There we go. Seems like it's working this time. It's verifying. Verifies okay. And I'm gonna show you the data. So just one of the things you need to make sure is that the data makes sense. So as you can see in there, it's a Symphony 2. There is the serial number, look at that. Bingo. So everything looks okay. Yeah. Everything looks pretty much okay. It's a quite long EPROM. Although there's only data up to here. And I don't know where is the position of this uh, of this code, nor even if it's encrypted, because if it's encrypted, then that's a whole different story. But let, let, let me see what I can find out in there. Okay, so uh what I've done is I've, I've I've done a quick search, uh, tried to look for some um, sort of repetition. Uh, I, I couldn't find nothing. Like I only spent about five minutes, to be honest with you. But um, I, like I said, I don't know the position where the code is going to be. So uh, I've just tried other softwares, and Carprog does actually have um, a thing for the radio codes, and there is one here for Blaupunt for Volkswagen and Audi Blaupunt. 2007 onwards, although this radio is a the car is a 2007, but the radio is a 2005 and it's a symphony, but it's not the mp3 as far as I'm aware. I don't think let, let me have a look if it supports mp3. I don't think it does, right? Nothing on the radio uh, shows that it's capable of mp3. This is the symphony 2 plus, as we can see in there. Symphony, let me show you, it's a symphony 2 plus. Um, I don't know if it sports MP3, but um, but basically Carpog does have a thing in here to take the pin from the radio. It gives me this pin 1455. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to give up just yet, but now I have a, a, um, a file, I have the backup from the EPROM, so we're going to put everything back together on the radio, put the EPROM back on, I have the copy of the EPROM already, so no worries about it. So we can try this code, failing this code, um, now with the EPROM it shouldn't be too hard to find either a software that's going to give me the code or just dig a little bit more into the EPROM file and try to figure out where the EPROM is. So let's going to try and see what happens. And it's getting dark, the radio came off, off uh, from safe mode and uh, put the pin and look at that, radio is back on. So in the meantime I've tried all the softwares just to see if they would give me the same pin code, which they did. So I was quite convinced that would be the right code. Uh, I'm not going to share any softwares here, guys. If you want them, uh, Google will help you finding uh, finding them all that. But as you have seen, Carprog gave me the, the, the right pin straight away. So there he is, and it looks like the radio can actually read um, MP3 as well. So it doesn't say nothing on the radio, but it actually looks like it can read mp3 as you can see cd1 is mp3 so there is so what to say uh, i really hope that this can help someone else out there having the same issue i'm now going to obviously give you the pin to the owner and um, i really hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions any comments put them below and like always thanks for watching